Courtney is in Indianapolis. Hi, Courtney. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hey, Dave. Thanks so much. Thank you. How can we help? Yeah, uh, my husband is transitioning to a new job next month. It's in a new field. And um, I just would like some help trying to figure out how to set up our monthly budget and some of the specifics about 401k and, um, yeah, the just getting our, we have to start allocating our benefits pretty soon. And I, and I'm not entirely sure like how to set up our new budget because I don't know exactly what the take home pay is going to be. The catch is that it's a, he's going to he's making a little bit less money with his new job. Why? Um, well, he wanted to. I mean, in the simplest of terms, he didn't really have a future at his current company due to the mandate. So he oh, kind of saw okay. the writing on the wall, and okay. so he decided to get out while the getting was good. Okay. All right. So he had to kind of switch fields. Um, the good news is his new new job is 100% remote, and it's based out of Texas, so we feel like we have a little bit of security there. Uh, has upside? The, yeah, the upside is that it's it's remote. So and the have, upside is he's not going to get fired he, he, for uh, vaccines. But, 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 I mean, is there a career okay. ladder upside? Yeah, so, I mean, definitely. There, he's kind of on the start at the bottom again, um, but the trajectory it looks really good, and, you okay. know, the current job i mean he wasn't allowed to go into the corporate office so yeah, yeah <laughs> there wasn't i mean his future there was kind of over yeah i understand okay um the uh we're getting a lot of people joining ramsey some really high quality people joining ramsey for the same reason they you know they reach the end of their um time with their other company based on their uh policies and so forth so yeah it's it's a lot of people looking for another place to work and um all right, now the uh, de, 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 you're you're out of debt except and you have your emergency fund. Yeah, we actually we, we moved earlier this year and we um, we bought a new home and so we have a, we have a pretty sizable nest egg now, but we're completely out of debt except for our mortgage. Okay, all right, very good. All right, so you'll be putting fifteen percent of your income into four hundred one k, right? So his company will match thirty six percent of. Six percent mm-hmm. of the four hundred one k. So mm-hmm. the the problem is, I mean, it's less money, and so when we bought our home, the mortgage was very, very, very comfortable um, with his old job. And since he's taking a little bit of a step back, what did he used to make? Um, about one thirty. What does he make now? He's going to make a hundred. Um, okay. With right. So you're you're thinking of backing off the four hundred one k at least for a little bit until you get settled in. Yeah. Okay. okay. I wouldn't do it permanently, but I might do it for six months or even a year while you get settled into the new numbers. Okay. The old okay. 401k I would get with a SmartVestor Pro. Just click SmartVestor at RamseySolutions.com. Find someone in your area that you like and that we endorse that does stuff the way we teach. And, you know, they're, they're Ramsey trusted people, right? And so um, sit down with them and do a rollover on the old 401k. Roll it to an IRA. Uh, do not put it, okay, don't yeah. move, if it wasn't in a Roth, don't move it to a Roth. Don't make it taxable. But a direct transfer rollover has no taxes coming out at all. So you want to go ahead and get that set up. You can do that after the first of the year. That's fine. But I wouldn't leave it over at the old company. Um, then the second okay. thing is you can start your 401k. You're definitely going to get that 6% going in. You may want to go ahead and go on up to 10. And then let's see how we're doing from there. As far as your budget goes, I mean, you're guessing, and after one month, you'll adjust it, and you'll know. So just give yourself plenty of wiggle room. But you've got a big nest. you got some money laying around from the sale of that house, right? Right. So if you miss it $1,000, you just pull some money one time, right? Right. But, I mean, we're not going to so, do, okay. do that every month. I don't want to subsidize your your screwed up budget out of your nest egg and they use up your nest egg. But one month while you're getting readjusted to the numbers and getting them dialed in, if you need to pull a little bit of a thousand bucks, pull it. I don't care. I'm pull three. I don't care if you got a bunch of money laying around. I don't know how much you got, but that that's just a one thing. So you're okay. There's no reason to stress about this. And I just use an 80% figure. What's your take home pay? It's usually 80%. It's not going to be that far off. Um, it may end up being a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on what he claims. And, um, you know, in terms of uh, the dependence and so forth, he claims on his W-4. But, you know, just start working it and say, okay, I'm going to set it up based on this. If I come up a little bit short, I'm not going to panic. I can either pull some money or I'll adjust this category over here. 
after one month, you'll have the numbers. In the second month, you'll be able to just budget on those numbers. And that's what you should do. And the good news is it sounds like you'll be able to. So pretty, pretty cool. A lot of folks going through a lot of turmoil, yeah. John, with um, forced career changes. Yeah. Um, by forced, I mean they are um, choosing to – I, I want to work in a place that um, ha- has a different set of values. Yeah. And uh, we're seeing a bunch of uh, – I met some folks that joined us last week here at Ramsey, and um, the percentage of them that are ending up here – because we are in the building together, mm-hmm. they, they they don't want to be working remote. They've yeah. tried it and it didn't work for them. Uh, it, and um, you know the whole vaccine discussion and yep. all that, and people are just freaking out. And on, on all sides of the equation, but some people only want to work in a place that is fully vaccinated. Right, right. And so it's cool, but it's just what it's doing is causing this tremendous turnover or uh, topsy turviness, turbulence in the employment marketplace. Uh, that has nothing to do with your career, right? Yeah, and it, that's new. It, it is new, and I, th- I think it. I actually, I don't think it's new. I think we felt like it's new. I think we were insulated for a season, um, but I think, I think it all distills down to being comfortable with here's my values and being comfortable with here's the things I'll put up with and what I won't. And then what am I going to do? You know, what am I, what can I control in this situation? Yeah. And I, good news about them is they went and controlled it. They went and controlled it. Based and, on and the decision. It cost them some money, which I, I, I love that their values were more important than X or Y. And they had put themselves in a position because they paid off all their debt. That goes back to that solving for freedom, man. If you don't owe anybody any money and mm-hmm. then you get pressed up against a wall with my values and this is important to me and my family, Man, I'm free to shake your hand and head on down the road. Yeah, and just say, you know, bless you. Yeah, I hope, hope that works for you. And <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here. And you know, you don't have to be mean or mad about it. Everybody's angry. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to be angry about everything. You just be you, and I'll be me. It's okay. I gotta change. I thought this was gonna be my future, and now it's not. And so I'm gonna. And again, I'm making it sound light and easy, but the the, the least amount of that I can I can well, choose it, to get it, riled it up. It is over. a lot lighter and a lot easier. To make a change, if you have twenty thousand or forty thousand dollars in the bank and no debt, absolutely. Then, if you have twenty or forty thousand dollars in credit card debt and no money, right? It's yeah. a different. It's a different thing. You've yeah. leveraged yourself and on a house payment yeah, in a and city you can't, you can't, you can't afford. Get two car payments and a kid payment. My God! I mean, now so. your employer owns you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The bank owns you. Yeah. Yeah. There's. You some- don't think the borrower's slave to the lender? Try this one, okay? <laughs> yeah. You got no debt, and you walk in, the boss starts yelling and screaming, and you start walking off. And you go, where are you going? I don't have any payments. Not here. Look over your shoulder and go, I don't have any payments, and just keep walking. (laughs) And, you know, when you say that that way and you paint that picture in people's mind, they go, yeah, the borrower is slave lender. When I don't have any payments, I'll make different choices. I wouldn't put up with that crap. Yeah. And here's what the boss is going to do eight times out of ten. They're going to want to set up a coffee with you. Yeah. Now, uh, usually when I get to bark and people run away and you you just smile at me. Tell me me what's going on here. (laughs) Right. That's it. That's exactly what you just looked at over. Oh, as you were walking out, you looked over your shoulders and see you. See you, man. Yeah, see you, man. When you get done with temper tantrum, I'll be here. Later, to, dude. To, you can have your temper out. tantrum somewhere else, you freaking four year old. <laughs> it's a different thing, man. What I, 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 Dave, thing. I want people to own their values. We're in a season now where everybody's yelling about everybody else's values. You know yeah, how about, how about taking yours. care of you? Own That's a full-time job. And you know what? Like me and my wife, we're not going to put it's, up with this. It's mind job own business. In the workplace or in the school? Great. I'm going to own it. And then I'm going to be when you're a kid's none you. None you business. I'm owning it, man. I'm going to stand mind tall, walk business. tall. There's a old sitcom on when I was a little kid, Bewitched. Yeah. And the woman that always looked across the street minding the other people's business, <laughs> Gladys. Gladys, get away from the window. Well, here's what they're doing now. The whole stinking culture has gone to being Gladys's. Instead of Karen's, they're Gladys's. This is the Ramsey Show. <laughs>